Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these winter outfits in GTA Online. If you enjoy the video then please make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel just in case you haven't done so already. Don't forget that you can also join the Militated Discord server where you can view and share your outfits with the community, the invite link is in the description. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated. These particular outfits are not made with the transfer glitch but I will be making some transfer outfits later on for the winter update as well. As I know someone is going to ask, the video tutorial for this outfit that I'm currently wearing is down in the description below. But with all of that being said, we're now going to get on to the three outfits of this video. So we're going to start off in the clothing store and we're going to start browsing the outfit section. From here we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to go into the Gorka suits category. From here we're going to purchase the white camo Gorka suit and then we're going to back out of there. Next we're going to head over to the top section and we're going to go into the utility vest category. To match with the Gorka top, we're going to go for the white camo plate carrier. If you prefer a solid colour though, then I would recommend the charcoal, ash or ice plate carriers. Either way, we're then going to back out of the top section and you may notice that equipping the vest has removed the pants. So we're going to go into the pants section and go down into the arena wall category. Now head down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the grey camo chain pants. These seem to match the top and plate carrier pretty well, but once we've done that, we're then going to back out of pants and head over to accessories. We're then going to go into the gloves category and for this outfit I'm going to purchase the grey tacked gloves which are near the bottom of the list. Of course it's entirely up to you if you want glasses on this outfit, so if you do, we're going to go over to the glasses section and go into the sports glasses category. From here we're going to purchase the grey scale urban ski or whichever glasses you prefer. In ammunition, we're going to go into the gear section and we're going to purchase a grey earpiece. With that done, we're then going to head down to the mask store at Vespucci Beach and start browsing the mask section. Firstly, we're going to go into the diamond casino heist category and we're going to purchase the grey net gator near the bottom of the list. We're then going to back out and open up the interaction menu. From here we're going to go into style and accessories and we're either going to change or remove the earpiece and then we're going to go back to the grey earpiece. This will remove the actual net gator, which is what we need for the next part. Also make sure the hood is set to up and then we're going to go and save this in the mask store. With that saved, we're then going to go back, but this time we're going to go into the ski mask category. Now just simply scroll down and we're going to purchase the grey camo spec ski. The pattern doesn't match exactly, but it's good enough. So we're now going to go over to the nearest ammunition. In here we're going to start browsing the weapon section and we're going to make sure that we have purchased a parachute from the top left, but we're not going to equip it just yet. Instead, we're going to leave the ammunition and head over to a high-end apartment. Now we're going to sprint towards the telescope at an angle and you're going to press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. If you've done that correctly, the mask will disappear and you won't look into the telescope. Next, we're going to open up the interaction menu and go into style. Now go down to outfit and equip the one that we just saved and walk away from the telescope. The mask will then reappear, so we're now going to go upstairs to the wardrobe and while we're doing that, we're going to reopen the interaction menu. This time though, we're going to go into style and parachute and set it to on. I recommend that you use the grey combat shoot bag for this outfit. So we're now going to go into the wardrobe and we're going to save this outfit for the last time as we are done with it. Okay, so to start the next outfit, we're going to need to leave the apartment and head back down to a clothing store. We're going to start browsing the top section and we're going to go back into the utility vest category. Simply equip any vest and then select no vest. Now that that's done, we're going to go back but this time we're going to go into the sweaters category. From here we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the grey combat sweater. Now that we have no vest on, we're going to go over to the accessory section, go into scarves and we're going to purchase the grey scarf. As a side note, you cannot equip the scarf if you're wearing a vest. In the gloves category, we're going to purchase the grey armoured or whichever ones you think will work best. Okay, we're now going to back out of accessories and go back over to tops. From here we're going to go into utility vests and re-equip the white camo plate carrier. Again, if you prefer to, then you can use a solid colour one like charcoal, ash or ice. Either way, we're going to leave the clothing store and head back down to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. From here we're going to go into the hat section and go into the combat helmets category. Now it's entirely up to you which helmet you pick, but I'm going to be going for the black advanced. As you can see, you won't need to do any glitches to combine it with the glasses or mask. So that is pretty much that outfit done, it's essentially just a different version of the first one. Of course, before you do anything else, just make sure that you go and save this outfit into an empty outfit slot. After it's been saved, we're then ready to move on to the third and final outfit of this video. So to begin, we're going to go back into masks and we're going to go into Diamond Casino Heist. From here we're going to purchase the light grey net gaiter. We're going to combine this with another hat later on, but for now we're going to go back down to a clothing store. At this point we're going to start browsing the pants section and go into the cargo pants category. From here we're going to purchase the light grey large cargos. Now that we have those equipped, we're going to go back into the top section, but this time we're going to go into the tucked service shirts category. From here we're going to purchase the white service shirt tucked. To break away from all the camo, we're going to go back into the utility vest category and we're going to purchase the ice plate carrier. 
Unfortunately, you can't put a scarf on this outfit, but we're now going to head over to the accessory section to go into gloves. I'm sure you've already guessed, but for this outfit we're going to be going for the white armoured. We still have the grayscale urban skis from the other outfits, so we're now going to go over to the glasses section to change those. In the gun range glasses category, I'm going to purchase the white guns which have the dark lenses. Thankfully, no glitches are required to equip those. Next, we're going to remove the parachute, so we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and parachute, and set parachute to off. We can then close the interaction menu and we're going to head over to the other side of the clothing store to start browsing the shoe section. Now there aren't many choices for boots for this particular outfit, but we're going to go into the rubberized boots category and from here we're going to purchase the white trail. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to change the hat that is on the neck gaiter. To do that, we're going to go back over to the hat section and we're going to start browsing the biker helmets category. We need to purchase the black spiked from the bottom of the list. With this helmet purchased, we're then going to go and make sure that we save this into an empty outfit slot. Once it's been saved, we're then going to pick our hat of choice, so for this outfit I'm going to go into the berets category. You can use one of the garrison caps if you prefer, but for this one I'm going to be using the ice beret. This is of course too much with the rest of the outfit, so for this next part we're going to need to head outside. To do this glitch we're going to need two vehicles, one being a car and one being a motorbike. I recommend bringing your own motorbike as they are much harder to find. In the interaction menu, go into style and go down to outfit and scroll along to the one that we just saved but do not equip it. Instead, we're going to go up to where it says parachute and enter the car. As you're walking towards the car, go back down to where it says outfit and equip it when your character's hat disappears when you're sitting down. Next, go up to where it says parachute and exit the car. Okay, we're then going to go into secure serve and register as a CEO or VIP, depending on what you can do. Now we're going to reopen the interaction menu, go into secure serve, management and style. Press right once to equip the founder outfit and then walk over to the bike. Okay, so we're now going to get onto the bike and we're going to press left once to go back to none as we're getting onto the bike. You can now see that we have the hat and mask together, which you can't normally do. Of course, we're then going to go back into the clothing store and make sure that we save this outfit. There is one problem that you're going to face if you make this outfit and I'm about to show you how to fix it. When you change outfit and switch back, the mask will not reappear, but it's very easy to fix. All we need to do is go up to where it says parachute and enter a vehicle. As we approach the vehicle, we're going to go back down to outfit and equip it as we're getting on or in the vehicle. But that is pretty much it, so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel just in case you haven't done so already. Don't forget to join the Militated Discord server where you can view and share your outfits with the community, the invite link is in the description. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated. If you have any problems or questions then please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below and I'll try and get to you as soon as I can. But once again thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next GTA Online video.